Hello lads, today we're going to be leveling up fishing. I have 489 sturgeon here. This is about a, f a couple a couple million worth of sturgeon. And for those that don't know, if you eat fish, it levels levels up your fishing. SBI just gave out 5 days of premium that uh, logged into the game during uh, like the laggy DDoS attacks. And we have an anniversary fame cake which will boost our fame gain. So we have premium active, we have the fame cake that's going to be active. We're going to be eating all these fish. And see how many levels we get from it. So right now my fishing level is at level 63. I have auto learn turned on. I've got auto learn turned on here. And so every time it hits 20% we will gain a fishing level. And uh, the gear I'm wearing allows me to eat fish as fast as possible. If you um, want more info on that. I actually made a video on uh, that exact topic. And uh, let me just show you uh, what it looks like here. I'm going to pull it up on the screen. Screen capture... Hold on, let me skip ad. And then that was me, hold on. Okay. For some reason ads auto- Dang it! It keeps showing me ads, I don't know. But anyway, this is the- this is not the thumbnail, the thumbnail's over here. The title is The Fastest Way to Eat Fish. So go check that video out. Uh, freaking YouTube, also people randomly inviting me to their party. Whatever, I don't know who that guy is. But, essentially we're going to be eating fish, and uh, yeah, so let's just, uh, let, let's go! Alright, first off we're gonna cast armor, and then we're gonna eat some fish. There we go, just slam it right down our gullet. And boy, look at those fancy colors. Oh, I actually did it a little bit wrong here. I I've already messed up because I ate all tin fish. I'm not supposed to do that. Also, I didn't eat the cake. Oh, I wasted some fish. Let's eat the cake. There we go. Now we have the fame bonus. All right, and uh, we're going to shoot the target dummy, and then we're going to eat a bunch. There we go. Now we're getting a little bit more. Then we're going to equip more cakes. As, or not cakes, but equip more sturgeons as we eat them. You can see it's slowing down a bit. That's cool. We put the armor buff back on. Slam more down our throat. There we go. <laughs> Very good stuff. And we're just getting levels up like crazy. Use the, uh... <laughs> use our uh, helmet to get our armor back. Shoot the target dummy. That way we get a little bit faster casting. There we are. Go ahead and start getting my cooldowns back. And yes, we are just mass learning and leveling up fishing here. And it's really, really awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for a little while. There's no reason for me to just record this constantly. Alright, there we go. We have eaten two million silver worth of sturgeons. And well, we didn't gain many levels. I've only used like 130 learning points. We're at level 75 now at least, so we got like 9 levels out of that, and it gets it gets way, way harder to level this thing up to 100. So I bought another, well it's normally estimated market value 10 million, except, well everyone's doing this too, and um, I have certain videos on the members only channel that advise of certain things, and those guys are getting big rich right now because the price of sturgeon has is, is spiked massively. Uh, let me show you. Sturgeon is mainly used to level fishing. Uh, 5,900 silver, but four weeks ago it was only 4,300. So we're paying 1,700 additional silver per fish. That gets expensive fast. Uh, instead of using uh, the target dummy to speed up, we can uh, we can chow down here in town for just a bit. Let's put, on, uh, let's put on some fish here, and people are going to watch me just eat smelly raw fish here in the streets. You know, scumbag style. So, uh... Let's go. Activate, and then... There we go. Quite the spectacle here. <laughs> People are like, what the hell is going on with Soul Benji? What's he doing? Why is he doing this? Why is he eating all the fish, guys? And, uh... Well, it's the level of fishing. That's just how it is. Alright, lads. I've been here quite a while. I actually ate some without the anniversary cake buff because it ran out and I didn't notice. Also, standing around here gains a lot of attention, so someone gave me some stone and iron. That's very cool. But um, we're almost there. We're 2% away. It's going to cost... How many learning points is it going to cost? It's going to cost us 17 learning points to go from 99 to 100. We're 90% there. As soon as it clicks over to 20, we have done it. And any second now. And I just... I don't want to overeat, right? There we go. Learning point reached Fisherman. All right. And then it should pop up now. Level 100. There it is. Level 100 Mastery Achieved Fisherman. 100 we can now equip the tier 8 fisherman gear and that means I am now tier 8 in all gathering It only took three years 
Three years, guys. Oh boy. And that knocked us down to 473 learning points. Oh man. But what else should we max out because it's fame week, we got free premium, we might as well level something else up, and well it happens to be that the Soul Benji character here is a potion crafter, but he is not a max level potion crafter, no sir. He is a max level poison brewer, but everything else is around the level 50 air, uh, you know, area. So what is my most used potion? It's generally healing potions when I'm doing PvE, and it's just something I, I just, you know, reflex chug when I'm in a PvP fight. Even in yellow zones, I do chug potions. So, uh, there's two ways to look at crafting and maxing out. You can do the math and do the e economic smart way, or we can just craft things that we're going to use in the future, which for me is tier 6 healing potions. So if I want to craft tier 6 healing potions, I'm going to need a lot of potato schnapps, which is, um, well, that's also part of leveling a bootlegger over here. Eggs and foxglove, and just buy those from the market. But what else can we use potato schnapps with that we also need to level up? Uh, what about mana potions? I don't ever use these, but apparently they also need potato schnapps. So that's viable. Uh, what else, though? Uh, what about invisibility? Potions need moonshine, which, well, we so we're going to have to, like, kind of divvy up this with uh, moonshine. And do some math there to find out how much we need, because I do want to level up Invisibility Potion. Another potion that I use all the time in Viz Pots. Very fun. What about, um... So, so we know that health and mana are potatoes. We're going to have to buy a lot of potatoes, right? Uh, but what about Gigantify Potions? Another one of my favorites, Tier 7 Gigantify. What does that use? That uses Corn Hooch. I, again, we're going to have to do the math and see how much of all this stuff we're going to have to craft, Okay. And then Resistance Potion, which uh, needs also Corn Hooch. So there we go. Two Corn Hooch, two Potato, and one Moonshine. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so that covers those. Uh, what about Sticky Potions, which is that one, which I uh, hate leveling Sticky Potions. I, ne I never use Sticky Potions. Oh, wait, Resistance. I, I really like to Sticky. So it looks like Corn is the main one, and then it's going to be Potatoes, and then Moonshine. So, uh, m m invis pots are going to be the most expensive, but uh, these are all potions that I would constantly be using, and another reason to level potions to 100 is in 70 to 80 days, they're going to introduce new potions, which means new things to level up and max out, and also, I have a lot of focus to burn right now, so why don't we, uh, let's, let's do a whole mountain of math now to see how many damn potions I need to craft uh, first up to level Healing Brewer to 100. I'll be right back with that amount. So let's actually work uh, through this a little bit together. So I have uh, I have some numbers here, and you can see here this is fame to level potions. And uh, my potion, uh, what is this? Uh, this is level 57, so it matches up here that level 57, where you at 36396. Uh, that matches that number there. So what I need to do is take all of these numbers, like, where is it? 57 through 100. And, or through 99, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then I'm going to go and ask an AI to do some math for me. So, um, uh, because if I one at a time add all of these XP values up, it's going to take forever. So I'm going to ask an AI, can you add all the numbers up in the second column? And then I'm going to just copy paste it. Uh, let's see. And uh, the AI is working on it now. All right, and the number that the AI spit out is, um, uh, that doesn't look right. No, that's, uh, I'm going to tell the AI that is incorrect. Try again, because I did this earlier, and it got a, it, I got a different number. Hmm, no, it, it's still not working, so uh, I guess I'll do this manually. <laughs> Be right back. After some finagling, the AI spit out this number, which looks about right. So what I have to do now is find out how much fame am I getting when I craft one of these. So I'm going to need 72 Fox Glove. And there we go, by that. And I believe it's 48 Egg and 48 something else. This is how you can do the math yourself if you're doing something similar, right? So it's 72 and then 18, 18. So 18 Goose Egg, 18 Potato Schnaps. Uh, goose egg. Um, okay. I'm, whatever. Uh, so 18 goose egg. There we 
go. And then potato snap. 18 of those. And uh, there we go. So 18 of those. And then we have the fame buff active here. And we're going to sort... Oh, it left it in the market for some reason. It didn't, it didn't auto go into my inventory. I don't know why that is. There we go. And now we're going to go do one craft. And we're going to see exactly how much all this costs. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to document a whole bunch of stuff. How much it costs. And right now, they're not cheap in, in Bridge Launch. Um, that one's out of crafting um, whatevers. 773, 780. Oh, 775. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go right here. 775 is the best I'm gonna be able to get. So, and it's kind of inefficient to run around on the mammoth. Let's do this. But you're gonna hang out with me. This is kind of a longer video, and we're just doing math right now. We're just gonna do a whole bunch of math, okay? And this is a rough estimate. This is not an exact amount, so don't use this as a guide. This is just spitballing, trying to get a little bit how much we're gonna earn. Right now, our inventory is worth is 47,421 silver. <laughs> Sexy Slayer with the hay. I know you, mate. Yes, everyone knows me. I'm the most famous player in the game. I'm sorry. Okay, so 3,000... So let's... Uh, let, first off, let's calculate cost of one craft. Cost of one craft is... Uh, let's see. We're, we're going to round this to 48k plus uh, 4k. So 52k, all right? And then we have to we have to look at how much fame this gives. All right, so we're gonna craft it. How much fame is this gonna give? And that is three thousand seven hundred twenty-six. Three thousand seven hundred twenty-six. Now remember, we got to do a little bit of division here, and so we're gonna take the calculator now. And is that on screen? Yes. So, and I know this number's not exact. It's okay. This is just estimated math okay we're gonna divide it by 3726 that's roughly how many times we have to do this uh so 340 times we're gonna take 340 that's rounded we're gonna multiply the cost of 52,000, and it's gonna cost 17.6 million silver to level this to 100 but on the up on the flip side on the upside we're going to have um <laughs> We're going to have uh, healing potions for life. But at the same time, let's figure out how many schnapps we might need to craft and might not. I know that there's returns and all this stuff, but let's do a just a rough estimation. Okay, so it's 340 crafts and it's times 18 schnapps. Technically, it's times 15. 340 times 15 schnapps. That means we need 5,100 potato schnapps. We're going to need that for the energy potions also. We're gonna, which, ugh, I really hate to craft energy potions. I'm just going to do it for the healing potions for now. So let's craft 5,100 potato schnapps first. Let's get that done. Let's get that out of the way. So that'll save a little bit of money. All right, so that's going to cost uh, two and a half million. I don't even know if the market has enough potatoes, but let's buy 5,100 potatoes. And uh, it looks like it did. I think, let's see. One, two, three, four, 5,100 potatoes. Now it's going gonna, gonna to cost, you know, it's going to cost money to... Um, <laughs> refine these into the potato snaps. Uh, so let's get another cake. I'm gonna buy a couple more. Let's see, I don't want to join your party, dude. Sorry. Uh, let's uh, type cake. Buy a couple cakes. I know I have these in my and in, in, on my island. I'm lazy. There we go. And uh, we're gonna pop a cake. We're gonna refine all of these into potato snaps. And uh, we're gonna get some XP for doing that. And because that's gonna, we gotta level up bootlegger too, you know. And bootlegger levels, it's really slow. All right, not so bad. Only 177,000. If I use focus, I actually could I could focus craft this and still have focus left over. That's it's not good money though. I'm not gonna do it. Um, so we're gonna craft 5,100 potatoes and let me eat a cake. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the cut the video. And there we are. We didn't really level up that much. Bootlegger only went to 62 from 57. That's only like five levels. Oh no, man. We're gonna have to make a whole lot of hooch. Uh, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. Let's let's finish up healing potions real quick. And um, because we need 5,100 uh, potato schnapps, that means we need 5,100 goose eggs. And uh, <laughs> I'll do the math later on Foxglove. That's gonna be the most expensive ingredient. All right, looks like I'm going to need 20,740 Foxglove. Oh my goodness, is there even that many on the market? 
Jeez. Jeez Louise. Alright, Foxglove. If I were to buy 9,999 of you, and I were to buy them at 481, that is 5 million. Okay. So we'll do that. And then we'll do it again. Which is uh, not exactly... And, uh, is there you... Yeah, there's there's enough there. Okay. And uh, we're just gonna see what happens. We're not... We may not hit 100 with this. But we're just gonna see what happens. Because I can study some of the potions, you know. I, I don't have to craft them all. I can study them. Alright, so it says I can craft 1,385 potions. If I do 340 and multiply that by 5. Uh, we're a little short. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Because I'm gonna get some ingredients back after crafting. And then that might be enough to push it to 100. This is gonna cost one million to craft, and if I used focus, it's a, it's it's quite a lot. It's 113,000. Um, but we're not gonna do it with focus. Uh, and I will cut the. I'll be back. Oh, and I just want to mention another way to also do this is you can see if whatever you craft will be a profit. We're at 13.7 million down here. I I don't think crafting potions have been profitable for a long time, especially with the crafting cost and taxes and listing fees and. And, and potions, only certain potions sell at a very high volume. Healing potions are not exactly high volume. But I, I do chug like 10 of these every day that I play. So it's just they're good to have because I'll never have to go to the market and buy them ever again. Hopefully, maybe. Depends on how long I play, you know? That is the first wave of crafting done. Let's see. That did take quite a while. and That was like 15 minutes almost. All right, Heal Brewer. We're at level 77. Um, so not quite there. Uh, let's do... Another round. Here we go, 161,000. All right, I'm gonna mash the rest of these crafts out. Well, I didn't mean to move. <laughs> okay, here we go. And 22K. And uh, we can see here we got, let's stack it up. The item value did not go down. So that means technically we could sell this with a slight tax loss, but I'm gonna use these potions. Also another thing too is that if you hold on to these long enough, in the deep, deep, deep future, I'm talking like three to four years from now, and then you sell the potions, well, they're going to rise in value, because everything rises in value slowly over time in this game. So, we ended at uh, level 80 on the heal brewing. Alright, so I believe that the AI gave me the wrong fame amount. So, we're trying to calculate all these numbers, right? Uh, for, we were trying to calculate from 57 and then to 100, and I didn't want to do it manually. So I had an AI tell me it was 1.2 million. Well, I don't think it is because look at this: one, two, six, five, six, eight, plus one, two, three, oh, eight, four, plus you know, like 100,000. Let's just round it down, okay? So that's 100,000, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are estimates. Like we've already passed it, and that's just from 87 to 99. So the AI lied to me. Uh, so that's why I got inaccurate uh, craft counts. That does happen when you trust AI instead of doing all the math manually yourself. Screw damn AI. They're trying to ruin us. But you know what? It's not all lost because we're just going to do the math manually. It's a little easier now because since we're level 80, we can look at this chart here. We're level 80. And then we're just going to add from, uh, from 80 to 100. And I'm going to do it in an estimated fashion. So that's going to be 130,000 plus 125,000. Whoops, too many zeros there. Plus 120,000. Uh, plus 117,000. Plus 114,000. Plus 110. We'll do 110,000 there. And uh, 107,000. Too many zeros there. Plus 104,000, plus 101,000, plus 99,000, plus 96,000. And, you know, I, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do it in an estimated way. I don't need to. It's only 20 more levels. There, damn it. I did the math manually. We have the number now. And, um, yeah, it's 1.96 million. So, uh, we're, we gotta craft more schnapps, which we have the potatoes for. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and craft the remainder of, of these potatoes into schnapps now, and then I, I we'll just buy more materials and get, get our, you know, potion crafting to 100. So here's the rough, not exact math. Again, this is just estimative math. About 9,400 schnapps and eggs, 37,000 foxglove. Now that's without doing the return rate and all that crap. 
Uh, to get it exact, it requires more math. And I'm, I'm, I've been up, like, for 20 hours, so my brain is getting really mushy. It's easier just to buy, like, 20 or 30,000 Fox Glove or less, craft a whole bunch of potions, and then see where I'm at after that. Now, because I need 8,050 uh, eggs, there's not enough goose eggs on the market. I have, um, I have destroyed the, the egg supply. So I'm gonna have to go to another town for that. Now, I've been doing some math on studying, so let me hide the text real quick. So, here's the, here's the cool thing, right? So, if I take one potion, and I, and I study it, it costs 753 silver, and it's gonna give me 2,594... Well, is it? It's like 2,000-something. It's 2,040, yeah, 2,049 study fame. Which means, I would only have to study 955 of these... 955 of these potions, which is worth 7.72 million silver. Whereas, if we look at the screen now, and we do some math, I need to craft 526 more potions. Those potions cost 52,000 each, which means I would spend 27 million on crafting. And because the eggs are out, that's another 45 minutes to an hour to run to another town and grab the goose eggs. So at this point, it actually might be cheaper to just study what we have here. Uh, and so to do, to factor that in, here's how we do it. We take the whole, this stack is worth 7.72 million. We put it in the window. Uh, this is going to cost another 700,000 silver. Um, I really hope, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me make sure that's not in the millions, okay? If one of these costs 753 silver, a study times 955, yeah, 719,000 silver. Okay, that's not too bad. So essentially, I'm paying... Uh, 8.4, uh, 8.5 million instead of 27 million, but these potions just go into the ether. So I think we will do that. How's my, uh, cake buff? Oh, let's just eat a cake, make sure we have a full cake buff going for this. And then, um, we can actually probably study this a little bit cheaper at the bench, uh, that does not have any crafting capacity. So let's check that out. So here we are at a bench whose crafting capacity is at 1%. Uh, but that, um, you should free for hunter nutrition. You can see here it's only 365,000 silver instead. But I'm paranoid because I, I don't know if that's going to overkill it. So I'm just going to split the stack here and do half this stack and see how many levels I get. Building crafting capacity limit reached. Okay, so I, I it, it does use crafting capacity to study. I didn't know that. Alright, so let's see if uh, if our numbers are right. We're going to study... Almost 4 million worth of potions that I'll never get to drink. Feels bad. And hey, it's at least a little bit faster. And there we go, level 81. Like, it's going up. It's going to go up way faster. But again, this is just burning through money. This is burning through all the hard work we did to craft this stuff. And, uh... <laughs> uh, 83. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out and back in so I can skip... Well, I don't need to do that. I can just click here. We're at level 91 out of 100. That's... Here, let's do it. Let's do another split. And if you want to know how I'm splitting it, I'm holding shift, holding left click, and then dragging. So let's study another chunk there. Explosive. Go. And so that brings us up from 91. We'll see what this uh, knocks us up to. 91, we're at 96. Again, I'm going to split the stack again because I don't want to, like, I don't want to, I don't want it to go over, but it should stay like there's nothing more to learn. If I remember correctly, that's what it'll the game will tell me. 90 level 98. Here, let's just uh let's just throw the last 120 in there. All right. And we are now level 100, but it did consume them all. So I'm going to I'm going to take a potion and I'm going to put it in here and see if it tells me, yep, you would not learn anything from studying this. So we actually had the exact correct amount. Our math was on the dot there. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Um, this went from like, what, 17 million down to 9 million. So, um, hey, but we did it. We are now a level 100 healing potion crafter. Next up is the energy brewer, I believe. But um, we have all these potatoes. We might as well make schnapps out of them. I'll see y'all in a bit. Now, I know what some of y'all are thinking. You're like, why the hell aren't you doing this in Brazilian? And the reason why is before recording, I checked Brazilian herb prices. And they were like 100 to 200 silver higher over there. Someone's already cleaned out that whole market. There's not enough farmers with islands in Brazilian to keep up with the demand over there. Even though 
You get that slight potion return rate. And no, I'm not going to transport a mammoth through the the mists. That that takes like 45 minutes. I, I want to make this video quickly. All right, uh, we're going to do a round two this time. We're going to try to get the math a little more tightened uh, for for this one. Also, I used up almost all the food at this um, this bench. We're going to go down here now and use that one. Uh, that's just how it is. You know, the, the bench is hungry and um, there's no one there to feed them. So let's do the math live here. So what we're going to do is um, I need to take 72 of the fox glove here. Uh, we have the eight. We need 18 schnapps, and we're gonna estimate. We're gonna estimate a little bit of the cost here, and then 18 goats milk. So let's get that on screen. Now this is the new estimated fame to level 57 to 100. It may not be exact, but um, I just took the AI's total and then my new total, and that's what I got. So let's uh, see here now. Okay, a uh, cost of one craft is going to be. Uh, 34k, and, and I like to just round and keep it simple. Um, that's 7k. Again, it doesn't have to be exact, exact, and then 7k. So we'll do 14 uh, plus 34 would be 48, 48k right now. And then we have to get the, the cost from the bench, which is um, another, we'll, we'll do 4k. So that'd be 52, again, it's 52k cost of one craft, fame from one craft. And we're going to go ahead and pop this bad boy in. And yes, I know I get some returns. I could calculate those separate, but whatever. Who cares? It's 3-3 three, three and um, I miss... I'm, I haven't recorded. I can look at the recording. Uh, so, actually, I, I didn't I, uh, I didn't pay attention to how much fame that gave. I got I to gotta stop the recording to look. There we go. So, it was 3,726 fame for one craft. So, popping the calculator... Oh, I can just close that. Uh, pop and close that. Uh, so... <laughs> Now let's do 3225784 and then divide it by 3726. This means 800 and well, it's technically 866 if you round. We just did one so it's 865 craps remaining. So uh let's see. Uh 865 crafts uh which would cost us, you know, we're going to take 865 multiply that by 52,000 and that's going to be 45 million. 45 million, okay? So there we go. And now we're going to calculate a study, uh, the, the study cost. So if we take one major energy potion, also look at the description, it's bugged out. Items, T6 potion energy description, cool. So one energy potion, hold on, one potion is worth, uh, we'll do a 7.4k, there we go, we're just going to round it up, okay? And then if we study one potion... That costs 753. We'll just make that 7.5k, right? One potion is worth 7.5k. That's simple enough. And then uh, let's see, fame from that, and I do have the cake active, I did check, uh, is going to be 2049. Two, so 2049. So now what we do is we're going to take 3225784 divided by 2049. Which is 1,574. So 1,574. And we're going to multiply that by 2049 and see if that's cheaper. So that's 3 million? Really? If I just buy 3 million worth of potions, I can just max it out? Hmm. Does that, does that sound right? That, um... That doesn't seem... That, doesn't see, that seems a little too good to be true here. But, um, I don't know. Let's find out. No, 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 no. That's me fudging the numbers. Let's do the math once again. 3,225,784 million fame. And then the fame we get is 2,049 per study. That means we need to study 1,574. 1,574 studies. And each one of those is going to cost us 7,500. Which means the actual total silver cost is 11.8 million instead of 45 million. Now granted, if we do just craft the damn potions, we can sell them back, but I'm gonna tell you right now, who drinks these? No one drinks these. I don't, I have one build where I drink mana potions, and it's an all-in build uh, that bombs factions, and um, that's it, that's the only build. Like, I don't have a use for these potions. I think it's better if we just buy them, and these schnapps, I guess we'll sell them. <laughs>
Now, because we're not actually using the potions or keeping them, let's do a little bit more math before we commit. So I'm going to check now tier four and tier two in Bridge Watch. I'm also going to compare it to Brazilian, in which um, I don't think any other city is going to beat Brazilian prices. I could check every city to see who has the best deals. So I might do that, but I just need to run to a, a crafting bench here and then get some study amounts. This one should have enough crafting capacity to do one potion. So I'm testing the tier two and then the tier four. And then I'm going to compare the fame that they give to the cost. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Here we are. What is the crafting capacity? It is, it's pretty low, but we can study the tier two potion here. And let's see what that gives me. 151. Let's get it on the screen. So that means, um... 151 fame, and then the tier 4, when studied, is going to give, um, get in the bot, nope, don't get, there we go. And then that's going to be 569, so we're going to do a little bit of math here, and see what's the most efficient. So first off, we're going to take 7,500, divide it by the amount, 2049. This means that for, um, it's 3.66 effic efficiency for tier 6. All right, and then we're going to take 3,000 and then divide that by 569. And that means it's 5.27, so that means tier 4 is technically better. Um, pretty much me. So so the way, like, look at it like this, like, um, no, that's not correct at all, is it? I think I'm doing it reverse. 2014, let's, yeah, do it by reverse. So that is 0. 0.27, and then um, 569 divided by 3,000. And then that's one... Yeah, 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 I did it wrong. Okay, so tier 6 still better. Okay, 150... Hey, calculator? Don't disappear on me. 151 divided by 800, so that's 1.18. So, again, uh, 24... That is the amount of fame divided by the cost. So, for, um... Essentially, it's, uh, one silver is 0.27 fame, right? And you take 569, divide that by 3,000... And then every one silver is 0.18 fame. And then finally, 151 divided by 800 is 0.18. So, last time, because my brain is completely fried, I have no sleep, which is a tier 6 wins. All right, so let's go check prices now. And I didn't bring a mount with me. I just, I'm just i just naked. Also, I forget if when you study it in Brazilian, if you get additional fame. Uh, it turns out the price is the same in Brazilian. Someone's already done this and emptied out their stock. Let's see if the study or if the um, the fame is different. Twenty forty nine. That's what we got at Bridgewatch. Bridgewatch has the better deal, so we're going back to Bridgewatch. And yes, I'm aware I would have to check the prices of the tier four and the tier two in every city, but I already did that um, in Brazilian. So let's. I'm just checking tier six. April. Oh, that's way more expensive here in Limhurst. What's going on, Limhurst? You're charging a thousand four hundred more than Bridgewatch. Of course, it's slightly cheaper here in Fort Sterling. Fort Sterling always has, like, some of the best deals. Uh, so, yeah, I can save 150 silver per... That's 150, 1,500, 15,000, uh, 150,000. So now I just gotta make sure the crafting benches aren't ridiculously overpriced. And um, what happens is it's only, like, 30,000 silver to quick travel with a mammoth naked. Oh yeah, they're ch they're cheaper here than Bridgewatch, so um, I should probably do some of my crafting out here instead. Uh, so I'm I'm probably gonna have to move. So I always find it kind of odd that I have celebrity status. Look in the chat. Oh my God, I saw Swole Benji in Thetford. <laughs> I'm already in Martlock, bro. But I get this all the time, constantly when I'm running around. They're like, Oh my God, I seen him! I seen him! There he is! There he is! Also, I just want to mention that uh, for those that are like kind of new to the game. Carleone used to be the capital for uh, crafting potions before Brazilian existed, so it's always good to go check there, too. This will binge the owner of Albion now. No, I'm afraid not. Um, <laughs> so we're going to check Carleone prices because there is a lot of old hat crafters that still live here, that still craft their potions. They refuse to move to Brazilian. Uh, it's it's rise in price. So right now, Fort Sterling is the winner, and then Bridgewatch in second place. All right, let's purchase the major energy potions. There we go. I don't know if that's enough, but, um, yep. That's 1,575. That's o that's overkill. That should be overkill. I think we have enough. Let's go study them. Whoa, look at this Chad, guys. This, now this is a leg Vladman NPS with the Masterpiece Cow, the Masterpiece Stalker Jacket. Not quite Masterpiece Shoes. Why Shoes a Tenacity? I don't understand that choice. Even using Refreshing Sprint. 
I mean, I guess it's Avalonian, but man, oh man, what a what an absolute beast of a person. And what's he riding? The Venom Basilisk, huh? That's a battle mount. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a battle mount. Uh, you can't use that stuff. Yeah, you absolutely can't use these during faction fights at all. But, um, wild. Not even faction flag either. Crazy. Alright, so here we are. And, um, we're gonna throw that up in there to study. And, um, seven hours. Oh, we gotta eat the cake first. We didn't, we almost didn't eat the cake. That would have been huge. We don't want to do that. There we go. Throw that in there. And then we're gonna study that stack. I'll see y'all in a bit. And that got us to level 90. Now, uh, interesting enough is this this bench had 30% food supply before I studied and then after, and there's no one else here using this, it's at 18%. So let's throw that stack of 500 there. Get those last levels. <laughs> uh, so that cost about, what, 12 million in silver and then another million in total for the study cost. So that actually way cheaper than crafting them. Uh, although if we did craft them then slowly sell them over time, we would make our money back. This is just the, the fast way to do it. And like I said, I don't really... Okay, is that 100? That is 100. There we go. We did it. And we had 15 left over. So it does give you the leftovers if you don't do the math correctly. So that's nice. So what about these schnapps that I just crafted on a whim? Well, we can study those, you know. We can absolutely study them. And oh man, this poor man's food supply. Goodbye, Bench. Let's see how much force... Oh, that goes fast. That actually goes real fast. Look at that food supply just drain. It's like flickering. Alright, well actually, that wasn't so bad. It's not that draining, I guess. <laughs> oh man, our bootlegging. <laughs> what is this going to bring it to? I don't know, but... Again, we have no more use for the schnapps. If we do, oops, I'll just make more, you know, or whatever. Uh, let's see. Food supply 5%. And there we are. <laughs> Where are we at now? We now check out our, 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 so far, our progress. Healing done, mana done, bootleggers at 84, whatever. So that we still have Gigantify, Resistance, and Sticky, and Invisibility. Now, out of these two, I don't really use Resistance Potions much ever. I'm going to be real with you. I actually uh, use Gigantify for defense. But I almost never take a defensive stance in yellow zones, and I almost never go to red or black zones, so I don't really ever use Gigantify. Sticky potions are fun, but I don't use them. They're, they're okay for um, ganking, what's it called, like red zones. Invisibility pots I use the hell out of, so I definitely want to craft these. But I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of math, and I'll get back with you guys. So, checking the markets, Redwatch still number one. Someone's bought all of the gig pots out in Brazilian. They're double the price of the average market value in every other town. And uh, looking at efficiency, the tier five wins when you do the division. So we're gonna be buying, it's like 4,000. How much was it? 4,053 gig pots. Damn. 4,053 uh, gig pots. Um, there's not enough on the market, obviously. Uh, we're not going to pay 34,000 per gig pot, but I will pay uh, 3,000. 3,000. Damn it. 3,537. Let's do some quick math. 3,400. 3, uh, yeah, there's like barely any in this market, so that's one. That's like 200. There's not enough. There's just not enough to buy, and it's 14 mil. So I'm going to have to. Let's try tier 7. Since the market doesn't have enough, let's do the math on that, okay? So 2,732, no, 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 3,225,784 divided by 2,732. That means I need 1,181. So 1,181, that's doable. And um, let's see, that's going to cost 12, 3, 3, 4. That's 14 mil. It's a little bit more, but it is quick. And um, other than that, I've got to calculate... The, the cost if I craft it, which would be in the 40-something millions, but these things don't sell. Like, look at it. You're selling, let's see, four, let's see, per day, no, 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 four weeks. Per day, there's only 4,000, 5,000, 4,000, 5,000 that sell. Really, that much. Maybe, okay, maybe they do sell. So, we might craft these guys. Nope, we don't craft them because they take goose eggs, and I'm not dealing with tra uh, transporting goose eggs to another city. I'm just not. And here we are with, uh, we're doing, we're doing Gigantifies, um, because there wasn't enough tier 5s in the market, and resistance potions, and so we're gonna go flush these down the toilet, <laughs> skitty bitty toilet style, 
And um, I don't know what that means. But uh, yeah, we're going to go max both of these out in one go and empty out another uh, poor bench's food. <laughs> All the potion crafters and benches are going to be starving today, boys. All right, so this is about the right math. 1.187 million. Uh, and that should get us there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Make sure I have a, a cake. Do I have a cake active? I do have a cake active for 12 more minutes. We are good to go. Let's commence with the study. <laughs> if I used focus. Nah, we're not using focus on studying. There it goes. Blast off. Next up is the Gigantify potions. Another 1.1 million right there. And uh, like I said, the estimated market value of all these potions in the inventory was 30 million. That's 32 million <laughs> for just these two potion lines. And interesting enough, it looks like I had exactly the amount for Gigantify, because I had none left over, but I do have 39 of these resistance potions left over. Also, this is going to be going for a little while. Now for sticky potions, there wasn't enough of the tier 7s on the market, uh, though there was plenty of the, of the tier 5s, but they're a little pricey, so right now we're at 13 mil. So that's about 2 million under what those the other two potions, the resistance and the gigantify cost. But these are just as expensive, so I might have underbought, but we're going to see. Turns out I got very close, 41 extra potions there. Didn't exa I mean it's technically overbuying, but it's only by 41. That's super good. And now all that's left is the invisibility and the bootlegger. Let's do this. So here are the numbers for uh, studying, not crafting. Um, it's funny that uh, the moonshine, the hooch, and the, sna the schnapps all give the same amount when studied, but the potato schnapps being much cheaper than moonshine and way cheaper than corn hooch. So um, I got to figure out a little bit more, see if it might be better just to craft it. And like I said, I like invisibility potions, so I'm going to do the crafting math on that. So now I'm going to do some math. I'm going to see how much all of this stuff costs to craft it, including the crafting fee of 6.3k. We'll say that's, we'll round up 7k. So here is the numbers before we get, before we get um, the, uh, what is it? The crafting back? Hold on. Before we get um, the 15.2% resource return, and no, Brazilian is already cleaned out, so I can't do it over there for even more returns, sadly. And no, I'm not going to use focus even though uh, I have very high spec in potion crafting now across the board. Uh, we're going to save that for the very end of the video. We're going to spend that focus on actually using it to craft potions at maximum crafting ability. So uh, let's see how much fame this gives, and then I'll do the math of what resources I get back. And the fame is... I'm waiting for it. I'm moving the window down. 5,400. So here is the... Um, Here's the, the returns math, which is kind of silly to do it this way, but I'm going to do it. Six, we get 66,000 in invisibility potions, which, like I said, I'm going to use these anyway when I do, like, one-shot dual dagger ganks and, you know, red zone ganks. Uh, but it's, it's still cheaper to buy these. Like, right now, it's still a little bit cheaper to buy these. Uh, the ghoul yarrow, the moly and teasel milk, and moonshine, all and everything, all add up to about 78,000 in returns. So that means it only technically cost me 10,000 silver to craft. And if crafting, you know, gives 5k and I keep the potion, 5,400 fame and I keep the potions. Let's see how much that uh, will take to max out. So 3225784 divided by 5,400 will take 597 crafts. 597 crafts times 10,000 is how much we're losing each craft. This means it's only... About six million, and I get an ass load of um, invisibility potions to use forever. However, if I choose not to use the invisibility potions, the cost uh, is actually. Um, dang it, I lost the number because my brain is fried. Give me a sec. So again, five ninety, yeah, five ninety seven, five ninety seven, and then we're gonna multiply that by the raw cost, uh, which is eighty eight thousand. Uh, so eighty eight thousand which is 52 million <laughs> instead of the 6 million. So, um, yeah, that's pretty brutal. Uh, that means uh, I'm going to have essentially, like, you know, <laughs> an ass load. Hold on. 597, okay, times times 5. 2, 000, that means I'm going to have about 3,000 invis pots. I'm never going to drink that many. 
Uh, so what I think is ideal is that I just study it. Like I said, um, three two two five seven eight four divided by three four one five means I need to study nine hundred forty five of these. Nine hundred forty five times fourteen thousand uh, is only thirteen million. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna ever drink three thousand of this potions. Not in not in several years. I don't gink that much ever. So this is, for, for me, this is the more economic solution to max this out. Even though the other one does involve making a bunch of moonshine, but, you know, I'll, I'll, get, I'll calculate that later. So let's just go by how many... Are, again, brain fried, please forgive. Uh, I need to buy 944 invis pots now. Well, nine... Well, okay. 944 subtracted by 5 is 9... I need 939 invis pots. And yes, I'm aware I forgot to, um, to, to factor in the study cost, which is going to be a couple million. Whatever. This is just the easier brain way to do it, man. So, of course, I walk all the way over to the bench, and um, I didn't have my pie buff. Uh, I, I don't know if I had the pie buff whenever I crafted the invis pots either. But probably not, so that, num that number might be a little bit off. Oh well, it's not gonna hurt the calculations too bad. I'm. This is just a faster, more efficient way to do it, man. Don't hate me, because I'm spending a lot of silver. I know, I know, I know. I need a cake, dang it. Get me, get me another. I've been shoving cakes in my in my character's oh, face all day. I'm just gonna eat it now. We don't have to, we don't have to go to the bench. It's 500 silver. They're cheap. They're like little penny cakes. All right, let's study these bad boys. Yep, another 1.2 million to study. Oh, goodbye, Invispots. You're being removed from the game's inventory forever. We'll have some left over. We might. We might not. We might have the exact amount. And there it is. All that remains is Bootlegger. That's it. It's 84 out of 100, so we're going to have to do the math on that. Uh, that's not too hard, but everything else is level 100 so far. Finally, for bootlegger, I've got the number here uh, using my handy-dandy, you know, leveling chart of how much fame each level is. Did the math manually. No AI assistance this time. And um, on screen are the prices of each item. So potatoes cost 489 The schnapps cost 420 Then 437 Then 450 They kind of jump around on the market price. So what I'm doing now is I'm getting fame amounts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a pumpkin moonshine. See how much fame this gives. And that remember this costs uh, this costs 450. Hold on, I'm gonna add another line on my text here. So uh, fame pumpkin. Uh, the pumpkin is uh, to moonshine is 34, and then to study that. All right, is um, it says 82, but um, and then plus 94. So plus 94 equals and get calculator. 94 plus 34 equals 128. So if I just buy a pumpkin, I can get 128, essentially, uh, from craft and then study. Whereas if I just buy the schnapps, it's uh, it's just 94 if I just buy it, which is the same, so 94. If just buy schnapp, 94. And so now we do the math again. So now we take the price of the pumpkin, or no, we take the fame... 128 divided by 457 is a 0.28, and then we take the price of the schnapp, which is 420. No, no, no. We take the, the fame and then divide it by the price, so 420. So that's 0.22, okay? So I just forgot what the first number was. 0.22 versus... Uh, 0.22 versus 0.28. So it's right now, it's better to pop, blech, buy the pumpkins, and then, yeah, buy the pumpkin... And then study the, the moonshine that it produces. So I'm going to go do that. Well, no, I got to find out how much I got to do that for. And this is where it sucks. 1652588 divided by 128. I need 13,000 pumpkins. Jeez, that's not happening. Holy moly. Damn. Well, you know, that's actually not... Well, I don't know what the market... Oh, God. So here's what I just did, okay? I bought as many pumpkins as I could before the price spiked due to shortages. And then I bought as much potato schnapps as I could before the price spiked. So I'm just gonna run this and see what happens. And yes, I, I also forgot to calculate the fact that you do get pumpkins back when you do brew this sometimes. It's very rare because it's one pumpkin to one moonshine. But sometimes you do get some back. 
You can see, like, save six pumpkins, save six pumpkins. It's I sound like those TikTok NPCs. Oh, yeah, ice cream, yum, good, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> but, um, yes, I, I, I know this is not factual, 100% solid math. You expect me to do that with zero sleep, whatever. I'm just, here's the thing. I'm trying to get this maxed out before everyone realizes you get five free days of premium. It's fame week. What that means is market crashes left and right. And uh, that that's just how it is. All right, we've loaded up a whole bunch of uh, uh, schnapps and moonshine, and we're just going to study it now. And uh, let's just let those numbers run. It might not be enough. It might be. It'll. It'll. You know. It'll give me whatever it doesn't. But look at this silver drain. It's just. That's what this video is. This video is just a silver spending spree. And like I said, like okay, for those that don't watch my live streams, I did a live stream here on YouTube, and I was raising money to be able to make videos exactly like this for you guys to show you what it's like. And I don't think it's enough. No. We are level ninety. Oh, we're so close. All right. I think I did the math precisely here. Um, 187,907 remaining fame to completely max out potion crafting. Holy moly, and we have, that's going to take 2,000, uh, exactly, which is kind of funny, 2,000 potato snaps, uh, to study, which means we're just, again, flushing it down the toilet. <laughs> so let's see if I got the number right here, and if we hit that 100 or not. There's 99, and did we do it? Yes, we did. We did it. 100, all potion crafting completed. And now, look at my focus here, 29, 3, 8, Oh, we had two left over. Damn it, it was 1,998. Well, I was pretty close. So now let's see if all this is worth it. I'm, okay, we spent 532 million silver. Uh, or, I'm sorry, we didn't, no, 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 we didn't spend that much. Holy crap, I'm really tired. Uh, we, we started at like 651 million silver, we're down to 532 million. Remember, we leveled fishing to 100 from 66. Well, it's like 40 levels of fishing. And then we, uh, we, we maxed out potion crafting! Like, except for the poison part. And now, they were all kind of in the 50s, but from level 1 to 50 is, it, it's like one third as expensive as 50 to 100 or something. But here's what we're gonna do now, we're gonna craft some, uh, minor poison potions. The focus cost is now 11. I'm pretty sure it was like 50 or 80 before I did this. I didn't check, I'm sorry. My old videos talk about it though. Um, the, cra the, the, the crafting cost, it needs 8 Bardock for Comfrey. Uh, I have 39,400 Focus to spend. I need, essentially I need to buy 14,324 uh, Burdock. So I don't know if that's possible, but let's see. Burdock. Burdock. Renolated Burdock. I need... <laughs> Here, let's do uh, 9,999, and is there a healthy sub- oh man, there's not. That's, it's expensive, dude, there's not enough. Well, screw it. Uh, we'll just buy out the market. That's reasonable. We'll buy out everything around fi 520, how much is there? We'll just do a small example then, 520. There's like one, two, three, four, five. Here we'll do we'll do five thousand five thousand crinolated burdock. Um, okay, we actually got five thousand crinolated burdock. There we go. Uh, I believe, and then I need two thousand five hundred comfrey. Two thousand five hundred comfrey, and you know there's plenty of that to go around. The market's a little high at the moment, but whatever. It's a bad it's a bad time to shop, but we're gonna we're we're just gonna see. A few things and see if we profit, see how much we profit. Do some of that kind of fun stuff. Let me just get rid of um, all that. All right, so let's uh, clear the screen now of text. And um, let's see, estimated value is 5.94 mil. And I kind of screwed up the window there, but I, I can drag it down. There it is. Estimated value 5.94 mil. We're going to focus craft. Yay! And uh, we're going to see if we make money. So this is only gonna cost seven thousand one hundred forty-one focus. That's so crazy. But let's let's get some math on the screen. So I'm gonna keep track of how much focus we blow and how much the crafting costs are. And uh, let's just go ahead and hit craft here. Three thousand one hundred twenty-five times five. It's a lot of potions. 
And uh, let's see if that estimated, bleh, estimated market value goes up. It, it, hopefully it goes up more than that. And, um, you know, I want to cut the footage so it's, like, cooler looking. Well, well, you can see it going up, right? It's, it's slowly going up, but how much will it go up? We'll find out in a second. Next up, I'm only going to craft 1,250 because that costs 2,857 focus, which puts us really close to 10,000 focus. It's, it's like two numbers off. Let me see if I did the calculations right. 2,859 focus would be 10,000. So I'm two focus off, so this won't be exact numbers, but it, it's basically how much I could technically craft every single day moving forward. And so let's add this uh, crafting fee of 105, 300, and the focus cost of 2857. And then we're going to hit craft once again. And then we're right now our estimated market value went up to 6.8 million, so that's pretty cool. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna do the math and see just how much estimated market value we're getting, and then I'm gonna bring it to the market and see what we're actually getting. So far, this is what the dirty math looks like. And um, so estimated market value when we started was 5.94 mil. Uh, the crafting fees and then the focus cost getting in as close to 10k as possible because you get 10k focus per day. Um, that ends in a 7.15 million estimated market value, uh, which means if you take your starting estimated value and your craft fees, it's 6.3 million. And then if you take uh, the after estimated market value, do the, do the math, that's, that shows that we made 841,450 silver by just pushing craft. And you can do that every single day. Uh, which will earn you 25.2 million per month. However, uh, premium costs 21.5 million. Premium is 21.525 million right now. Which means for the entire, if we did this every day for 30 days straight, we only make 3.693 million silver. And I guarantee you're probably going to pay that in taxes. But let's find that. Let's find that part out right now. Uh, let's um, get over here to the market and. Uh, do a little sorty sort, and we're going to sell some minor poison potions. And we're going to go with the, uh, now the four week average shows it at 900 something. Of course, right now it's dipped a little bit. Um, man, that is a really high average. Why is poison potions just crashing at the moment? I don't know why, but, um, in the last 30 days, so we would sell for 951. So if we sell for 951, uh, that would be 912. This is how much we get. Uh, and how many stacks do we have? One, two, three, four. We have four stacks. Let's do four times 912.047. So that means that's how much we're, we're technically kind of we're, we're making a day there. So let me let me do this. Market profit. That's going to be and then we have to do uh, one more stack here, which is this one. And again, we're selling it at um, one below market average. So that would be plus 346.011. Let's get the commas in there, make it nice and easy to read for the people at home or on phones. And this would be our daily takeaway 3648188 plus 346.011. Uh, at current market price is almost 4 million. But how much does it cost to craft all this? I'm going to have to review the footage to find that number. I'll be right back. Also, I just want to mention, uh, just real quick, someone bought all the comfrey on the market, like, shortly. Just a little bit later. So it's a really cool thing that I, um, man, just scoop it all up. Uh, I can flip it for a little bit of profit here, or I can craft with it. It's whatever. But uh, let's let's show the text, because this is a, a huge amalgamation of, of um, super tired and brain rotted math here. Okay, so... Uh, where are we going to start here? So, the estimated profit was 841000 right? And that's from the estimated value at the bottom, but we actually, I actually re looked at the markets, and that's what I'm going to present to you now. So, we can do 875 crafts, which is multiplied by 5, that's how many potions we get per day. Uh, and it can I didn't quite exactly get the focus cost right, because if it's 11 focus per craft, then that's only 9,625 focus, whatever, who cares. Uh, so the, some of the math is going to be off. The math is not exact. This is just an estimate. This is just kind of showing you the power of crafting. But uh, it's not that great, and I'm going to show you why. So we need 3,500 burdock per day, and they cost 497 market average of four weeks. Uh, if, I, if I buy order that, that's how much I pay. 1.739,500 silver. And then comfrey is 871,000 silver, whatever. 
So, and then the cost to craft her from the bench um, for that. You add the cost of the burdock, the cost of the comfrey, and the cost to craft it. This means it costs a little under 3 million per day to craft it. Uh, and if we're making almost 4 million per day, um, then we're profiting 1 million and 14,000 silver. And then after the cost of premium means um, per month we're earning 8.889 million silver uh, per month. And that... Now, if you, of course, you can improve these numbers if you use buy orders. Well, so if you're buy ordering the Comfrey and the Burdock constantly, in every town especially, you know, and, um, you know, you're sell ordering the potions at higher than, you know, above market average, you can improve these numbers, absolutely. But here's what I'm saying, is if you do this every day for 30 days straight, you're only making 9 million silver for the whole damn month. Bro, I can just skin for 9 hours and make that, and then I'm done. Now, it doesn't take me nine hours, obviously, to do buy order, sell order, and go run to a crafting station. It doesn't. Um, so, that's up to you. Now, chefs can make way more than this, right? Chefs, like my chef, after the cost of premiums, you know, I'm like 25, 30 million up, not 8 million up. And it's way more brain dead than all this stuff, okay? And so, chef, chefs absolutely win, but hey, the whole point of leveling... The whole, the whole point of leveling the Potion Crafter anyway is because they have new potions coming out. New potions, like uh, what was teased in um, one of the, the trailer, the market, not the market, but um, the dev dev preview. I forget what the hell they're called right now because my brain is dead. But um, there they threw a potion at the ground and it summoned a tornado. Uh, so we have tornado grenades, tornado potions, potion in a bottle, something like that. I don't know what they'll call it. But wind in a bottle, windy bottles, who knows? Fart in a jar, why not? Uh, uh, so, who knows how many more potions are gonna have. And, um, if you level those potions up, well then... Things are gonna get even crazier in the market, that's for sure. But now I have a maximum potion crafter. And, um... Yes, very cool. What else are we gonna do in this video? I don't know. Actually, I think I'm just going to call it there for now. Um, I've got a lot of things to do today, and uh, if I keep filming, it's just going to get even more pointless and unhelpful. But maybe you found it entertaining. All right, because I didn't film getting uh, cooking to 100, which I regret not doing, but whatever. Um, and my math was way more sound because I was like freshly woke up and I had all the buy orders ready. Whereas this is just haphazardly buying crap while the market crashes around me. This is like a gold rush. It's like everyone suddenly just gets five days of premium and it's like, oh crap, what do we do? And it's like, well, go, go clean out the market before everyone else does, bro. Um, there's going to be way more demand than supply for the next five days, especially with the fame cakes being a thing too. Fame week, like July is, is when you start maxing things out. There's a few more fame weeks, but um, it's very unlikely that we're going to get a free five-day premium. That would be the coolest thing if we got, you know, free premium on the fame weeks. But uh, SBI, they like money too much. Uh, anyway, that's the video. Like it, leave a comment, tell me how stupid I am, I don't care. Uh, uh, make sure you're subscribed. Click the video on the right side of your screen, and if you don't, you'll never max out anything in crafting ever.